Guys, welcome to Rotorite. Today we're going to be checking out the new DJI Avada 2. We're going to do a little bit of an unboxing here, but before I do that, I want to introduce you guys to my man Jay. He is a professional F3 drone pilot and you do like a lot of commercials and music videos. I think you're a good guy to like vet if this trailer is worthy of being used for anything, freestyle or cinematic. So we'll find out. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing is that it comes in a really nice leather bag. This one has a really nice quality to it, you know? It's nice and thick too. And so bag is very good, but let's get into the side and see what's cool about it. So in the bag, we got a couple things. We got our drone. This is the new DJI Avada 2 which the first thing that I noticed is that it is not a pusher. The old Avada was a pusher, which meant that the props were upside down. Yep. But this one's up top. I mean, it feels pretty light, man. This has a battery in it already. Yeah, I think it's actually super lightweight. It weighs a lot less definitely than a, uh, like a Cinewhoop with a GoPro. So like the camera on this is also upgraded from the previous version. It has a 155 degree field of view, super wide. It's a one and one third inch sensor. It shoots up to 4K 60 and HDR. I mean, the camera quality is amazing out of this. It also has D-Log M, which I'm so happy. Thank you, DJI, for finally including some version of D-Log on the FPV drones. Just so when I'm, you know, color grading in post, you have that little extra, yep. extra quality to work with. It's also 10 bit. One of the last big features on this drone is that it has the DJI 04 transmission system. So obviously L3 was a previous and that was absolutely phenomenal. But dude, they just keep getting better with the 04 transmission. The oh, image yeah. quality is a little bit better and the range is just feels like it's just on another level. All right, so that's the drone. And second, we got the new DJI Goggles 3, which I know a lot of people in the F3 community will be excited about these. Yes. And the first thing that people see is, what the heck is this thing up here? What the heck is this? It's actually a chip that connects to your brain no, I'm just kidding. It's a forehead rest. Most FPV goggles, the whole section here rests on your face, but this part, this rests on your forehead and it flips up and down kind of like visors. Yeah. I mean, have you tried them on before? Yeah, yeah. They don't go all the way up like a visor, but really the purpose of it is just so you can adjust the angle so that the gusset that's here presses directly against your face as opposed to having a foam and relying on the foam and the pressure of the strap to keep it against your face. So now, all that weight is transferred to your head. Actually, I, I like the way it fits and I like the idea that I don't have to go crazy looking for a phone that's gonna fit my face. Yeah. It's not always one size fits all, but I think DJI really put some thought into this and they were trying to make this one size fits all. And I think everyone's gonna be pretty happy with this. I mean, just looking at the rest of it, we have our power button, which is nice. Yep. We have some, you know, IPD adjustments and for, a, if you have like a contact lenses, it goes positive two to negative six or vice versa. I really like that about them. And they don't have the touchpad on the side like the DJI Goggle 2s. They have a little joystick up top, which yeah. I like. The touchpad was nice, but it was a little finicky sometimes. Yeah. The joystick definitely gives it a little like a tactile kind of feel so you know when you're actually moving it. So the DJI Goggles 3 have a new feature called Real View, which it's basically kind of like where you can double tap the side and then there's two cameras on front and you can just see the world around you. Kind of like some of the VR headsets we're seeing nowadays. These have this feature, which is really nice for, you know, if you put your goggles down, oh wait, I need to grab my radio. Just boop, grab your radio and get flying. So honestly, I think that's one of the coolest features I've seen in an yeah. FPV goggle. And then the antennas look like the same antennas in the goggle twos. Yeah. I know the FPV community is gonna be really excited about these. I hope these will work with things like the O3 and then the new O4 transmission when it comes out. As far as I know right now, these work with the Avada 2, the DJI Air 3, and the Mini 4 Pro. Okay. So it's cool. Those are the goggles. What else we got in this bag? We got the DJI Motion 3. Looks a lot different than the Gen 1 motion controller. And some things that you'll notice are there's a joystick up here. And then there's also a little tab up here. In this drone, you can reverse with the motion controller, which is really nice. Oh yeah, so that's an improvement from the first one. So one of the new features of the DJI Avada 2 is it has a mode called Easy Acro. So with the DJI Motion 3, um, there's a setting where you can do where you can use this joystick to do like flips and rolls, which is kind of cool, right? Yeah, yeah, and uh, it auto levels when it lands. Yep. You can also do some other moves. We'll get into those later. I didn't, I just, I'm just now noticing that the record button yeah, record is on the left side and when, power you're, button. when you're holding it, it, it's yeah. like all the buttons are in really easy places to hit. Yeah. Except for the power button, which is what I like. So like, I'm not gonna accidentally hit the power yeah. button. I mean, I'm liking it so far. It's a lot smaller in the hand. It's not as, the other one was a little bit heavy. I mean, yeah. not that it matters. It's so, it's lighter than a normal radio. But yeah, it's the Motion RC3. And then last but not least in the Flamboy more combo, we have our batteries, which is nice. So it's a safe charger. So you don't yep. even have to worry about it. You can no. just 
set it and forget it. I mean, when you're charging lipos, always you know keep an eye on them, but this one's nice because it has a lot of the safety features. Yeah. And one of the good things about it too is that it takes up to 20 volts. So you can charge this with the 5S battery if you have an adapter. I mean, let's take a look at the battery that's in it. So it's a 4S 2200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, which is yeah. interesting. I've already flown it a couple of times and it does not perform like a lithium ion. Like oh, it has no. some punch, so it has some punch to it. Yeah, I mean, and once again, just that magical DJI technology, yeah. <laughs> making lithium ions perform like lipos. You guys are crazy. So that's most of the main stuff you get with the, you know, the flammer combo. But then if you go up here, you have just some, a bunch of extra prop lens inserts that you can use, an extra forehead pad, some extra propellers, a manual, a little tool to change out your props, and then a USB-C to USB-C cable to charge. Oh, nice. And that's everything that comes with the, this a DJI Avada 2 package. So let's say you, you master the motion controller and you want to graduate to a normal radio. This is a DJI controller three. Yep. And the biggest thing that I noticed first off is that there's no antenna. Oh yeah, that's which, a big difference. Yeah, which is really nice and it makes it super compact. So the stick ends, they hide right in, in there on the side. And once this thing is packed away, man, anywhere I hit it, like I don't think I'm gonna break it, which oh, is no, nice. Not at all. Once again, DJI plastic, super strong. You fly a similar style radio, right? Yeah, actually I, I fly the uh, Tyrannus X Lite S. Okay. It's a gamepad style radio. It's a type of style of radio that I like to fly. and. Yeah. It's actually very similar in a sense, exactly. it's just much more compact because now it doesn't have a screen, which you don't really need a screen for it anyway. And the gimbals have a short throw, mm -hmm. which I prefer. So I'm actually able to get full stick deflection throughout the range mm -hmm. and I'll be able to do tricks a little bit quicker. When you get this radio, the throttle stick will be centered. You can let, let's sit the radio down and it'll just auto hover. Oh, okay. But we're real professional FBI pilots. So we got to take with that master out. Classes. With master classes. Yeah. On this tab on the back, you know, there's some screws that you can use to adjust the tension and also get rid of the, you know, centering throttle. Yeah. And so that's the DJI controller three. This is, once again, this is a separate thing you can buy, you know, once you master the motion so it's controller. Optional. It's optional. Yeah. Okay. And then obviously DJI is about the cinematic quality. So you can also buy some ND filters. And in the past, DJI ND filters have always been really high quality. Yeah. yeah. Great quality glass. Great quality. So nice little ND filter case and it should just fit, you know, in the bag right there. Just pop it open. They're about the tactile. They are. I mean, so yeah, so this set comes with an 8, 16, and a 32 filter. That's a perfect range, really. I mean, what else are we going to need? So you haven't flown the motion controller, right? No, I've never flown it at all. And if you guys watched our first Avada episode, you know that I I love the motion controller. Oh my god! Oh my god! Do you actually like I it? I love it! It is so cool! So I want you to experience it. Let's go ahead and get these drones set up and just get to some test flying. All right. Cool. So to arm it, you're gonna double tap this red button, and then to take off, you're gonna hold it. Hold okay. It down. okay. Yeah, and then so it's a little bit interesting. So to turn, this is how you turn. Don't do this. Okay. This. It's yeah, how you yeah. turn. And then, you know, throttle, obviously. Yeah. And then to go up, you literally just point it up. Okay. Yeah, cool. All right, so here we go. Here we go. First time with the motion controller. Go and take off. All right, he's up. So see how you can kind of move the radio to fly? Yeah, wow, right over the water. Right over the water. I mean, what do you think so far? It's so different than what you're used to, right? Oh yeah, it's definitely an interesting feel. I feel like for like a nice wide open space, it definitely does fit. But for like tight proximity stuff, you definitely might want to try the, uh, the remote. Yeah, for sure. Top speed. Top speed. So Here we go. Go ahead and I think you can change it to sport mode. I think by switching the dial. Do you see anything sport there? Sport mode, yep. Sport mode there. Okay, so yeah, so there's a little button on top that says like M and H. Um, that's what you're gonna use to change the modes. So it's in sport mode now. So you should be go, able to go a lot faster. <laughs> Bro, zoom in. Just floor it and go straight. And then wow. let, let go to stop. Yeah. Yeah, so in sport mode, it doesn't have any obstacle avoidance. So you can crash it now. So we're, you're, you're gonna have to put your master skills to the test. Here. All right, all right, here we go. Cool. How is the feeling? How do you, you know? It, I think it takes a, it's gonna take a little bit of effort to really like master control. Yeah. I mean, I think that's with anything though, right? Like you're gonna have to take time to get used to it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shopping cart! Damn. <laughs> Yo, how'd I go right inside? Yo, it just like lined up perfect. Good thing we have two. It's like right above the water. Little durability test. If I'm known for one thing, it's for crashing and uh, looks like it survived that crash quite well. You hit that thing pretty hard too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I really, really just went in there. Camera feels good. It's still yeah. soft and soft mounted. So what did you think just that first little test flight? It was pretty intense, really. Yeah. I think it's a, there's a little learning curve with the, with the, the motion controller three. For sure, yeah. But uh, I think with some time, I could definitely get adapted to it. 
I'm surprised none of the props broke, man. Yeah. Like, it took it pretty well. Yeah. I feel like it was definitely a testament to the DJI plastic once yeah. again. It just went right in there and took that hit. Because <laughs> we were like, all right, we're in sport mode now, let's just test it. He's like, yeah. So we were recording on the built-in storage and this has like 48 gigabytes of internal storage. Oh, that's decent. So it has a lot of internal storage. Yeah. Like when I was flying it, I didn't even use an SD card. So there's a little USB-C on the side with the SD card so you can put that in there. I want to dive a little bit more into this Easy Acro option with DJI Avada. So the Easy Acro option is something with the motion controller, which basically allows you to get some like moves that kind of look like they're done with a normal controller, but just with like a push of a button. So Easy Acro, there's a couple moves you can do. You can do flips and rolls, and then you can also do this thing where it's like you whip past. That was a really cool car shot. Now with Easy Acro, you can kind of do that as well. So let's go ahead and set it up real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the goggles. And once we're in the goggles, there's an option where you scroll down from the top. You have to do this before you're in the air to get easy accurate to work. So go down and, and you see the little like sphere looking thing right there. I'm gonna press that, it says easy acro. And then you'll see a little menu come up on the left. And we're gonna go ahead and launch. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this easy acro. Um, you see the little menu on the left? There's a dial on the radio. You can scroll that dial to figure out which one you wanna go and then press the dial in to confirm it. So let's go to flip. Boom, now we're in flip mode. So I'm just gonna fly forward. And the, using the little joystick on top, I can move it to the left and look, it's, it's gonna do a left roll. That is so cool. Whoa. Right roll. Boom. Wow. Back flip. Boom. Front flip. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, you can use this in a lot of different ways. So, let, I'm just gonna go ahead and try, I'm gonna put it in sport mode, because I'm a sport. I'm a good sport. We're gonna go forward and do a roll. Roll, backflip, boom. Isn't that, it's pretty cool, isn't it? And almost a trippy spin, too. It's almost, almost a trippy spin, for real. That's the flip option. I think the flip option is really fun. You're not really gonna use it in any cinematic purposes, but when you're just flying around for fun, dude, just being able to just randomly do a flip is a lot of fun, so. And what's drift mode? Yeah, so there's another option called drift mode if we scroll up with the dial. Boom, drift, click it in. And drift mode is one of my favorites because, let's, let's see, I'll show, you how, I'll show you guys what it is. There's a shopping cart in the middle that I'll use for reference. But basically, if you fly past the object like this, and then you give left input on the joystick, it does a movement like that. It does like a little half yaw spin and you keep going backwards. And you can keep going backwards forever until you let go of the throttle. So I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh, those lens flares are pretty. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I think it's really cool, yeah. And you know, all of this footage we're watching is unstabilized. So I think once it's stabilized, like- It's gonna look even smoother. It'll look really smooth, so. But it's already me, pretty smooth as is. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to just get a little line where I, you know, incorporate a flip and the drift modes in one line. Let's go ahead and see. So I think I'll start it up here with the lens flares because they're pretty. Here we go. Here's our little freestyle cinematic line with the motion controller. Zoom. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, 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 oh dude. This is when dong. Are you oh, okay? see Kai, I told you. Yeah. Let's go get the drone. Oh wait, I have picture. Wait, wait, I got video back. I got video back. Oh nice. Let's see if we can just take that off. Dude, that was a hard hit. That was a hard hit. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's still up in the air, let's go! It's flying still. How? Dude, this thing takes some hits, man. That was a hard hit. It's been a couple of hard hits it's over been a the couple last hard days. hits, yeah. All right, I'm gonna put it back in sport mode, sport mode. And I'm gonna try again to get this super pretty cinematic line. You guys ready for this? Are you ready for this, Jay? Oh, I'm always ready. He's always ready. For cinematic, we're always ready. For cinematic orbits, especially. Boom, come through here. What if I can do a roll through this thing? Oh, wait, ah! Oh. Sorry, I'm new to this, guys. I, I, I'm really good at flying just the motion controller, but don't ask me to also now incorporate all these flips and stuff. I gotta learn it, it's a learning curve for me. Let's go ahead and go, go to it, boom. Flying around, little roll here, cause why not? Boom, back flip through here, boom. Come around, oh, jeez. Freestyle, roll, come through here, backflip, 
Oh, so I'm upside down. You guys know what's a cool feature? I have turtle mode on this thing. I actually got turtle mode. Let me find it. Where's, where's turtle mode? Let's see. Here we go. Isn't that cool? Whoa. Okay. So now we're going to use the normal radio. And this is what we usually fly with. So go ahead and put it. It's in manual mode. Double tap the start stop. Cool. Go ahead and lift off. Whoa. Yeah, so the dial on the back left is going to be your camera angle. So you can go from negative as well as all the way up to like 80 degree camera angle, which I don't know why you'd ever need 80 degree camera angle, but it does it. Yeah, it flies really nice. It's really smooth. It definitely holds its line and it tracks really well. Yeah. Which is what I like. So it has a really nice onboard camera, so you don't have to have like an external HD camera. This shoots in 4K 60 FPS and as well as up to 100 FPS. So you can get really nice quality footage. And then also has D-Log M, which Thank you DJI for putting D-Log M in an FPV drone. The past two only had decent alike, but D-Log M is just a lot better to work with in post. It's a really good camera on there. It also has really good rock steady in it, so it's a built-in stabilization that just makes the footage look like absolute butter. I mean, yeah, I see you're already hitting gaps with it and everything. Try a flip, try, try, some, try a little freestyle. Try a little freestyle without, Wait, without I crashing. Wait, flip on it? Yeah, yeah. what's that? I, I didn't realize I could just regular flip. Dude, it's, it's a normal acro drone. You could do Whoa. all... Okay, I just did a full roll. You just did a full roll. I did a juicy. He did a juicy. It's getting crazy. It's getting that freestyle. Another juicy. Boom. Oh, right in the water. Sick. How do you think it handles for like, you know, little stuff you're doing? Actually, it handles really nice, especially for a full rest. Like, I just, I'm so surprised to feel all that extra power there. I mean, it feels like what would be like a 6S. It has yeah. a lot of torque. And what's nice is the battery, it's only at 86% already, and you've been flying for three minutes. Spirited at that. It's Wait, guys. Yes, to the orbits. Do the orbit. We gotta orbit ourselves, guys. Orbit, orbit. He's got that orbit in. Oh, he hit the gap. Oh, he's a master orbiter, dude. That was crazy. Sick. I love that you could just see everything. I mean, there's all sorts of hanging stuff. Yeah, and the quality, you can just see it, yeah? Yeah. You're flying through a lot of water and it's not freaking out yet. It's not waterproof, but just the fact that it's like built with a plastic housing yeah. helps a little bit with like rain and you know, whatever bando juice is falling from the sky. Oh, he's up there. Oh, that was cool. That was co I thought you hit something. I was like, we need to do flip, which is cool. You got to fly it with the normal radio and the motion controller. Well, what, do, what do you think of it? Um, definitely a lot more control with the regular radio, especially if you're used to using a radio, then this is definitely going to feel a lot more natural. Of course. Yeah. The motion controller, in my mind, is just like, it's so awesome for that a beginner. And any person can really just pick up an FPV drone and fly it, right? Yep, absolutely. We are here at Porsche Ray Katina in New Jersey and we're going to go ahead and put the Avada 2 to a little bit of a cinematic test, right? So we're here at a car show, so there's a bunch of really cool cars coming around. So that they brought us out and they let us fly the outside as well as the inside of the, sh of the showroom. So I'm going to be flying it with the motion controller and you're going to be flying with the, with the normal radio, right? Yeah. But there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this motion controller, so I'm excited to see what we can do. Just getting little cruises over these cars. We're we'll trying to get a little one shot where so I'm gonna go over this Porsche Porsche sign. I'm gonna fly past it. I'm gonna Boom. I think this is a nice place to start. Show off the Porsche sign. Boom. A little orbit there. Come down a little bit, we're gonna show off these cars. I'm gonna go sideways and show off this Porsche sign. Nice. I'm gonna come down a little bit. Then we're gonna pop up and reveal the whole, whole place. Um, just got flat with the motion controller, just got some nice little cruises over the car, you know, showed off some of the logos. Let's get go ahead and get you on the normal radio and see what you can do with it. Yeah, yeah. try that out. Yeah, 
and this wind is pretty wild. Yeah. All right, setting up the shot, flying up to the Porsche sign, showing it off a little bit. Boom, I like the over it, that's cool to reveal. All right, I'm about to see how that Rocksteady looks. The Rocksteady is phenomenal, so we'll see. We'll really get to see the Rocksteady in action here because it's so windy, it's pushing the Avada 2 around a lot. So the Rocksteady is a built-in stabilization that it has, which stabilizes the footage to make it look extra crispy. It's crazy, the boot hasn't dropped for nothing. Yeah, the range is just insane, right? Yeah. Windy outside. Yeah. But uh, how do you think it handled the wind? It definitely uh, it it worked in the wind. <laughs> it did um, work. It's definitely a lot solid for sure. And I, I like the flexibility of the that I could change the uh, the angle of the camera in flight. Yeah. So it kind of helps me counteract the wind by adding some speed. But you know, it, there's give and takes. I, I think it does that. That's pretty nice for sure. I mean, so inside there was no wind. How did you like it in there? Flying inside, it was definitely a lot more controlled, and I felt more comfortable inside with it. And nice. There was tons of people, but I was still able to get like some pretty tight lines inside there. Nice. Let's go ahead and get some to chase some actual cars. Yeah. And I want to use the motion controller because I think the motion controller is pretty easy where you just like we'll just be right behind it and just hold the trigger yeah, yeah. so let's go ahead and pack up and let's get on the road for that okay so we're right here at this really cool like pretty park location and we're going to get some chases of these really cool Porsche cars. Yeah. Um, so you're going to be using the normal radio, right? So I'm going to be using the motion controller plus head tracking. So maybe I can get some cool side shots. And it's kind of similar to what we did the Porsche dealership. We can kind of like compare, you know, the different types of shots you can get. Yeah, yeah. Now that we're in a wider open space, we could actually do a lot more. So, so we got some really pretty scenery. We got like a little lake right there, some trees we can play off. So we should get some really cool content. Yeah. And of course the cars. Yeah. So it's a little bright out today. So we're going to go ahead and use some of the ND filters that you can buy separately for the drone and it just clips on like that. Satisfying click as always and that's not going anywhere. Good to go. If you could start from like that back parking lot and then just go down this road and just follow the turn and we'll just follow the road. Yeah, thank you. See, you're getting a little more comfortable with it. Especially, I think yeah. the wind's not as strong now. Yeah. Cool. Oh my gosh, he's lo dude. The range is insane. What the heck? Cool. He is so far. It has return to home, right? Yeah, it does have return to home. So if you do lose, you know, video and control link, it will like go to the hikey set it and it'll come that's, back. That's pretty awesome. That's, dude, he's so far, so far. Go up two megabytes for one megabyte per second. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, but it still, it didn't yeah, feel it looked, bad it at all. Clear. Yeah. It still felt pretty locked in. Get it, get it, sick, cool, so cool, so cool. Oh, how did he make it through that, dude? What a legend, he's a legend. Thing and your battery is still at 53%. <laughs> yeah, We've been flying for, I guess, seven minutes is when you've been recording. So it's advertised as 23 minutes, and I think if you're just like you know, cruising, I think you could definitely hit that. But this, we are chasing cars that are going a little bit fast. Yeah. So, but how was that? I mean, 
That was intense, man. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I really did, yeah. Um, I, I, it definitely about performs like most of my three inch, two and a half inch center whoops. Um, That's a tall claim. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, for sure. And yeah. just the range on it, the 04, wow. I mean, you saw. I didn't expect you to be able to go that far. Like Neither when you I. were, I was like, oh, turn her back. You're like, yeah. I got I got video still, you yeah. know? So that was with the normal controller. Let me get out yep. the, uh, the motion controller and see what we can get. Let's see what you do. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the head tracking on. So now I can see. Let's go ahead and fly over. I'm gonna put this thing in sport mode. There we go. I'm just pinned full throttle in sport mode. The drone, the wind doesn't really affect the drone and motion controller since it has all the stabilization. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go low and then turn my head sideways. Oh my God. Sideways angle. Oh, tree. Boom. I'm gonna go play off the river a little bit. Sick. That was a good shot. Yep. Pop up. Just reveal the area as they drive away. 